Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you exactly how to integrate Zoom with Go High Level so that when you book meeting online, people will be able to get automatic links to your Zoom meeting so that you can have calls with them. Now, if you don't know what Go High Level is, it's an all-in-one software that is literally built for agency owners. It's made me from going from 1 to 2k a month to making almost 10k a month now. And I run an SMMA plus SaaS business model. Now, if you don't know what SaaS is, in my link below, I have my free membership course to help people basically learn and build their own SaaS company with zero experience in just 24 hours. So if you're interested in that, check that out because why not? It's free. It's for all my affiliates to use. But let's get into it. So in order to be able to integrate your Zoom, you need to first go into settings down here. Once you're in settings, you need to go down under business services and you want to go to this profiles tab. Once you're in profiles, go down to the bottom and you see here, you need to integrate your Zoom. Now I've already done that, but when you click on this for the first time, it'll just take you to a Zoom login page. You log in, it's pretty simple. After you've logged in, you need to go and press on Zoom on the location meetings and you need to select this Zoom. All right. Once you've done that, you can choose your availabilities, whatever you want, and then you press update. Now, if you're doing this as a business owner, you'll see all of this. But if you have, let's say, a team member that you also want to connect your Zoom to, you need to make sure that they're created already as a, under my staff, that they're already as an employee. So that when they log in, they'll log in their own account, and then they have to log in and connect their Zoom manually themselves. So now once we finish integrating our Zoom, we need to make sure that in our, cal in our calendar, it works properly. So we're going to go into calendars. In, into calendar settings and in calendar settings with the new interface, it's changed quite a bit. So what you need to do is go into preferences. Now in preferences, you need to choose that your meeting location is in zoom. So here it is, select that. Once you've done that, you just go through and make sure your availabilities are still correct. Your connections are connected in the way that you want. So I want to select my email as my main integrations calendar. Okay. You can choose to integrate with Google Calendar or Outlook, it doesn't matter. And then at the bottom, still make sure that that is for Zoom. Now, once you've done all of that, you can go into your calendar settings and create a calendar. Now, the difference between round robin and assigned booking is that round robin is more for big enterprises or people who have multiple staff under them. People can go in and look at a calendar and they can select a time and let's say user A it doesn't have any time available that the client wants. Then it goes through a round robin booking where it goes to the next user to see if that person has any availability. And if that person doesn't, it goes to the next one. So that's what round robin is. But if you're booking meetings just for yourself, you normally want to just use the unassigned booking. So now I'm just going to go into one of my booking calendars. Now this is just a test one that I have myself, but basically what you can do is put your name there, bit of description, appointment title i just have my name and now you want to make sure you leave your meeting location out. this is really important because we're going to put that meeting location in a workflow later now for the calendars again you can select your google it doesn't really matter sync option here you can usually make it two ways what this means is that when you send calendar invites to the other person that you get it sent to you as well after that again availability confirm all of that then confirmation now, this is really cool how you can actually use a Stripe payment because you can set it up that if you want people to pay you for going on calls with them, that's where you turn this on and choose your amount. Now, after that, the rest you don't really need to touch. All of these are populated automatically, so you can just leave that and you can change the custom thank you message if you want. And then you press complete. Now, once you press complete, we're going to go in the following page. All right. Now, once we've finished setting up our calendar, we need to go back and make sure that our workflows are proper. So now I'm just going to create a new workflow with you guys. So let's go create a new workflow. So once we're in a new workflow, they already have a bunch of recipes that we can use. So let's just use the recipe appointment confirmation plus reminder. So press create and here we are. So the first thing that you actually want to do in here is go into plus and you want to assign yourself to the user. Click yourself, press save action. Then you need to go in and make sure the confirmation email is correct. So let's move my head to the side and you just want to make sure, you know, Hey, contact first name. This is your appointment has been booked. When it is, please just use this zoom meeting ID. Now for this zoom meeting ID, you want to delete it. 
So you want to go into custom values, appointment, and scroll all the way down so that you see meeting location. All right. Once you do that, you press save action. And you want to go through each of those emails, making sure that you have, you delete this and select meeting location in the custom values. And once you do all of that, you can press save and you're done. So now I'm going to talk about the gentleman's agreement. So now I'm going to bring up a gentleman's agreement. Now, imagine that this is a digital handshake where one gentleman says, I'll provide a free flowing or you can eat buffet for the staggering price of $0. As long as you go straight down to this video and click subscribe. Now, I'm not saying this just to get more subscribers, but I am saying this for you so that you get the content that you need. So that's what one gentleman does for another. So I spent hours thinking and creating and editing these videos, and it takes you 15 seconds to click subscribe and like the video. Now I can't go on your computer to check if you have done this. So all I can ask you is if this has helped you, I ask that you uphold a gentleman's agreement just by helping me press like, subscribe, or even comment. So that's it for me. And that's how you integrate Zoom with Go High Level. I'll see you in the next video.